اعزائي الطلبه السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اهلا بكم في درس جديد من دروس الاستاتكس درسنا النهارده اكوليبريم اوفر جيت بادي اندر ذا افكت اوف تو فورسز الريجيد بادي از بالانسد اندر ذا افكت اوف تو فورسز اونلي اف ذيس تو فورسز ار ايكوال ان ماجنيتيود اوبوزيت ان دايركشن their lines of action are on the same straight line again a rigid body is balanced under the effect of two forces two forces just two forces only if these two forces are equal in magnitude if we have two forces f1 and f2 they will be are equal in magnitude and The two forces opposite in direction, their lines of action are on the same straight line, not parallel. Example one: If a force of magnitude F is in equilibrium with two forces of magnitudes 5 newton and 3 newton, act at a point and enclosed between them an angle of measure 60. Find The value of this, we will use this definition uh, to find uh, the value of F. So we have two forces, three and five, and they are in equilibrium with the force F. The included angle between the two forces, three. And the five is sixty degrees. So, the resultant of these two forces will be in equilibrium with the force F because they are on the same straight line, the line of action on the same straight line, and in two opposite directions. So, what is the resultant of? The two forces three and five. We will use the previous uh, rule we study. So we can find the resultant of the two forces five and three newton from the rule r equals the square root of f one square plus f two square plus two f one f two cosine alpha. So the resultant of these two forces three and five we will. Calculate it using this rule, and we substitute r equals the square root of f1. It is five, so f square is twenty-five. F2 is three, so f power two, f2 power two equals nine plus two multiply five multiply three. F1 is five, f2 is three, cosine sixty. Sixty is the measure of the angle. Included between the two forces three and five, so R equals square root of twenty-five uh, plus nine plus fifteen equals square root of forty-nine, which equals seven. So R equals seven newton. So we have two forces F and R, and the R equals seven newton. The force F and the resultant of the two forces R are in equilibrium. Then F equals seven newton. Again, since the force F and the resultant of the two forces R are in equilibrium, then F equals seven on the same straight line and opposite in direction. Question. If a force of magnitude F is in equilibrium with the two perpendicular forces of magnitudes five and twelve newton, find the magnitude of the force F. It is the same idea, but the two forces enclosed an angle equal ninety. So we have the force F. And we have two forces, five in newton and twelve in newton, and 
these two forces are perpendicular. It means the angle between them equals 90 degrees. Let R is the resultant of the two forces 5 and 12. R equals square root of 5 square plus 12 square, which equal 13. So the resultant of F uh, of 5 and 12 is 13 in this direction. Since the force F and the resultant of the two forces R are on are in equilibrium, are in equilibrium, then F equals 13 Newton because F and R in equilibrium. So F equal R, but R equals 13, so F equals 13 Newton 2. Rule, if a rigid body is in equilibrium under the effect of two forces, then we can transfer the point of action for any force to another point on its line of action without any impact on the equilibrium of the body it means the body is still in rest example two the forces three four and five newton are in equilibrium as in the opposite figure find the measure of the angle between the two forces three and five again the forces three and four and five three four and five are in equilibrium so what is the required the required is to find the measure of the angle between the two forces three and the five three and the five let the enclosed angle is alpha so the required is to find the measure of alpha but don't forget that the three forces are in equilibrium so the resultant of these two forces will be in equilibrium with the force of magnitude 4 solution the set of forces are in equilibrium then the resultant of the two forces 3n and the 5n is in equilibrium with the force 4 again the three forces are in equilibrium so the resultant of these two forces 3 and 5 it will be in equilibrium with the third force of magnitude 4 so the measure of the angle let the measure of the angle between the two forces 3n and the 5n is alpha then r power 2 equals f1 power 2 plus f2 power 2 plus 2f1 f2 cosine alpha by substituting r equal 4 then F1 equal 3 and F2 equal 5. Then substituting R equal 4 because the two the three forces are in equilibrium. So the force of magnitude 4 equal the resultant of these two forces. But the resultant equal R. So R equal 4. For that we substitute R equal 4. So R square equals 16, which equal 9 uh, plus 25 plus 2 by 3 plus 5 cosine alpha. F3, F1 is 3, so F squared equal 9. F2 is 5. So F2 square equals 25 plus 2 multiply 3 multiply 5 cosine alpha. 16 equals 
plus 2 multiply 3 multiply 5 is 30 30 cosine alpha so 16 minus again 16 minus 34 equals negative 18 so we write 30 cosine alpha 30 cosine alpha equals negative 18 negative 18 and then cosine alpha equals negative 18 divide 30 which equal negative 3 over 5 on the simplest form the required is to find alpha itself now we want to calculate alpha so alpha equals cosine minus 1 negative 3 over 5 which equal negative 53 degrees 7 minutes 49 seconds so the positive measure for this angle alpha so measure of angle alpha equals 180 minus 53 degrees 7 minutes 49 seconds equals 126 degrees 52 minutes and 11 seconds